32, 32, 32. If you don't have an AED, okay, now you ACLS folks, this is going to be important when you're running your ACLS code. Because remember, your perfusion pressure is what's important, okay? The perfusion pressure being high and the defibrillation is, is what is most likely going to save the patient. Not innovating him, not pushing drugs, that is not what converts, that's not what saves the patient. It's the perfusion pressure and the early defibrillation. So, if we take it from a basic level to an advanced level, the same rules apply. Okay? The same rules apply. So, I don't have an AED, I'm doing CPR. You are not going to stop and check the pulse as you did in the past. You remember you've had CPR in the past, maybe a few years ago. Every couple minutes you stop and check the pulse. Every couple minutes you stop and check the pulse. Every couple minutes you stop and check the pulse. Why is that bad? Drops of perfusion Yeah, we lose our perfusion pressure and uh, we're not doing a whole lot of good. Okay? So you will keep it rolling uh, until somebody arrives with an AED. Any questions on that? Okay, so if no AED arrives, you're going to be working, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't recommend doing this by yourself unless you have no other option. Okay? Get some help. Uh, it's not difficult to show somebody how to do chest compressions. If you are with somebody that is untrained, I would recommend that the trained person be the one to manage the airway. Okay? The new person will not get this right. Um, but you can show almost anybody how to do chest compressions. You're the professional. Do a round of CPR. This is what I need you to do. Okay? That's going to be a little more intelligent than you doing the CPR where you've got several people standing around looking at you. Okay? You're going to wear yourself out. Anybody ever done this before? Okay. Is it a lot of work or a little bit of work? Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, first time I did it, I kind of freaked out because I heard like a cracking sound. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it was it was in the ICU. Big, um, yeah, I was I was a student and it was pretty. Like, come on, get in here. I'm like, I, I actually believe somebody from doing compression. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy.